we lose our boy Murat, who's Nadinov, going down. He is down for the count, hopefully going to be ready for the start of next season. But what can you tell everybody about what happened there? Uh, great question because he was playing – with the Russian U25s, aka they were only play. I think it was Belarus because it's the only team they could play. <laughs> uh, they're not invited to literally anything. I was, and also there's no way to watch the games. Like there's just no way to. There's nothing. Um, but I don't. He suffered a fracture of some sort. Needs surgery. Um, but he will, in theory, should be fine and be ready for the the KHL season next season. But again, there's like no real disclosure on like where he broke something, uh, just that he did break something and it requires surgery. Um, so who knows? Maybe, like for all we know, he could have fucking like blocked the shot with his hand and just broke his hand, which oh, would suck yet again with no reason say, at the end of the game. <laughs> so good. No, I was going to say a period. Um, yeah. So, I mean, whatever. Like, well, Speaking of which, I mean, we do have to do a quick callback to the playoffs. You, I'm shocked you didn't bring it up on your own, but give a quick nod to my favorite defenseman in the NHL, Miro Haskinen. I mean, this guy, he is such a beauty. Like, I'm legally obligated to tweet out the video of his second ever shift in the NHL at least two to three times every season. And I do that. He's unbelievable. So you, he blocked. Well, I guess he actually really didn't block the shot. He like hit him in the face and it, it just went right into the net. Cause that was a sick move by uh, what was it Everly uh, slick hands right there. Um, I mean, his face, whatever next game he comes in. I mean, his face is out here. Like, he, he's got a baseball on his cheek. Big cut. Throws the bubble on and immediately plays. I think it was 29 and a half minutes. <laughs> like, the next game. He's so good, dude. Like, he's unbelievable. And, like, for everyone at the time, you got to remember, like, Dallas was one of the teams heavily in on Carlson. And the second that... Ottawa asked for high school in that deal. Dallas was like, all right, kick rocks. Nope. Done. Bye. And didn't even think about it. And now you're seeing why, but I mean, like if anyone hasn't seen why last, you've been years, seeing for three years, why? Yeah. This kid, he's so good, but like just outrageous that his face is like in half. His cheek is like basically pressing up against like the plastic bubble because <laughs> it's just so <laughs> swollen. And he's like, I'll just go play half an hour. I think he's averaging 29 minutes and 45 seconds a game in the playoffs. He is a goddamn stud. He is incredible. Um, somehow underrated because he doesn't come up enough in the conversations of like one. There are people the... that told me this past summer that he's not a top 10 defenseman. And I about shit myself. That is just disgusting. Um, both, right? Yeah, no, both of those things are gross. Um, yeah, no, he's unbelievable. Yeah. He, his face was, I mean, it's just in half and he is out there. Like, I'm just going to go play yeah. half the game. It's fine. Just leave me on the ice. Um, All right. So, so back to who's Nadinov then. I mean, obviously, Season over, whatever. We're looking forward to next year. Hopefully, he can come back right away, if not you know, at least early in the season. What do you want to see from him next year? Like, what are the expectations? Like, what's the next step in the progression look like for a Murat who's Nadinov? Yeah, I mean, realistically, I think it's just kind of continue on the arc that he's on now. Again, like this year was his real like breakout year, especially in the KHL, because, um, you know, last year, a lot of it was hindered with, like, the contract thing and just the KHL factor or whatever and how they like to develop kids over there. Um, you saw it again with Yurov recently. But, um, you know, he gets his real shot this year, and, I mean, he takes off, and he's playing center. He's playing wing, playing both sides of the puck, playing 18 minutes a night. And a lot of nights, he's, like, their most dependable uh, forward, especially as a center. Um, so, really, it's kind of just – keep doing what he's doing and realistically like he is what he is he's an undersized guy that is an elite skater the offense continues to develop so i think i guess realistically i don't really need to see much more defensively or some of that stuff but like 
more offense, I guess, just keep growing, which again, like this year, he really broke out. Um, so again, it's just kind of just keep progressing. No flat line, no plateau. So uh, being yeah. that you said that you don't need to see anything more from him defensively, does that mean you've reached the point where you're pretty firm that he will be a center in the NHL? No, I mean, I think this, again, I've said this before, I think he's taken a, a, a step to make me believe that he has a good chance of being a set at the NHL level, but like yeah. even more so, I don't think he needs to be though. Like I've, th- I've had my doubts in the past just because of how often he was on the periphery. He wasn't really getting to the inside ice, whether it was offensively or whatever. Um, so I guess keep developing that way, but I've seen enough now where it's like, all right, he's definitely at least got the capability to be a center at the national hockey level. Sure. Um, and I think like this year really was a big step just in terms of like, oh, he act like that might not even be that far from now, like in the future. Um, Cause again, he's playing it's his line every night. That's up against the best line on the other team. So um you know, especially for a guy that's under like, it, the the odds are still stacked against him because there's just not a whole lot of like five, nine, five, eight, seven uh, setters at the NHL level. Um, but he just had such a monster year that, um, you know, there was just big, big time steps in essentially every area of his game, especially offensively. But, you know, I just again, like, if he can just have another year where he just builds on that offense again, continuing to make plays in the offensive zone, getting to the inside. Um, but I mean, even you saw it this year, a couple of his goals and a lot of his points came from him, like out front in front of the net, like in the crease, like mucking it up with some big defenseman. So it's like, man, I like, it's crazy, but um, yeah, we'll see, but he's um, he'll be fine. I, it does sound like whatever this surgery is, could be minor so i think he will be ready for next year so um just rest up and get ready to hit the khl season hard 